Family, I'm going to share this message with you, okay? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Shalom, hello, assalamu alaikum, and green rising, and green rising, and we are rising to the top. Rising to the top, man. There is God. There is God. There is God. Um, when I graduated with my associate's degree, I, I don't take honor roll class. Some people take honor roll classes so they could get honors when they graduate. You know, they give you that rope. Two days, I think two or one week before graduation, that's when they do that ceremony. They graduate. Um, it's like a hand full of students that the professors will come together and select. So I had an award like that. And then when I came to work on my bachelor's degree, I, I wasn't thinking I was going to get any awards. You know, I was like, oh, I just said a prayer. I said, God, I hope, you know, I get an award again, you know, because it, it makes me feel good knowing that I didn't partake in any honors role. But then from all the departments, all the professors who come together and choose one student for that class. I'm um, under physical science. That, that means a lot. It means, you know, teachers are paying attention. And so yesterday I was checking my emails. I was talking to one of my classmates and he was going through the email, you know, because I'm graduating this, this month. So he was going through the whole, you know, email stuff. And I've seen that I've been, they sent me an email for to attend an honors road, um, graduation ceremony that I'm being on it and I was like are you serious you know and to cut it short when I started college my first year first semester I took four classes in one day I didn't know it was first time you know four classes in one day I ended up with three A's and one D financially said how you have a three A and one D so my my counselor was like you don't take four classes in a day if you want to take five classes take one class a day and that was the last D. I, that was my first D and my last D. And my lowest grade I had again was math. I had a C. I told my professor, I said, you're gonna have to pass me because I ain't good in math and I ain't coming back here. And that was it. All my grades are A and Bs and A and Bs, A and Bs. I write pretty nice. When I'm writing an essay, forget about what, you, what I'm typing here. When I write a paper, you'll be like, did you wrote this? Yes, I'm very good. So I wanna share this good news. I am happy and proud of myself that I have a handful of teachers that come in, professors that come in together, and it's a big school. It's a big school. Too many, it's a lot of students. And for me to, for them to choose me, that's God. It's the same way when I was doing my internship, I was getting paid. I was working and making hell of money, working part-time. You know what I'm saying? So it's all God. And when I say there is God, there is God. I told you all the story about my citizenship. If you're not born here and you become a citizen, you have to take an, ex an exam. It's 100 questions. Out of the 100 questions, the immigration officer will, will, will pick or select 10 questions out of the 100. And then out of the 10, you have to pass 6 out of the 10. I went to my one and a half bathroom and I said a prayer. I said, God, it's 100 questions. There's no way I'm going to memorize 100 questions. I handpicked six questions out of the hundred. I, princess, I handpicked six questions out of the hundred. And I said, God, the divine spirit, whatever you call yourself, my creator, my maker, the giver of life, if it's your will that I'm supposed to become a citizen, an American, this time, let them ask me these questions, these six questions that is on this paper. Any questions that is going to be asked, Outside this paper, I'm not, that means it's not my will to get my citizenship this time. That was my prayers. And I, I kept going over that six questions. I kept repeating it and repeating it and repeating it. And when I went to take my citizenship exam, I was there alone. People came in with their boyfriends, husbands, moms, family. I was there alone. And I said, God, I'm all here by myself. I said, Mama, I know you're with me. God, I know you with me, my ancestors, the good ones, my, my guardian angels, my, my spirit guys, I know all y'all with me. If it's y'all will that I'm going to get my citizenship today, let them ask me these questions. And the lady that was supposed to interview me, she had a lot of, <laughs> she had a lot of um, clients that she had to interview. So she called one of the coworkers and begged her to just pick one person pick one person from her list and attend to her. And the lady picked me. I remember she's Asian, Asian lady. She spoke, we, I went in there and Lord and behold, that same six question that I was sitting in the waiting room repeating, 
in my head. I'll be repeating this question over a month. When I got in there, the first question she asked me was the first question on the on the the first question she asked me was the first question that I selected. The sixth question that I had selected was the first question was the first question the lady asked me. From one to six, it was the same thing. And when she asked me the first question, I answered it. Second, I answered it. Third, I answered it. And my eyes got, in my head, I said, oh, my God, that was God. My palm got sweaty. I got goosebumps right now. I'm sharing this message because I want you to know that there is God. And um, some of us sleep late. Yesterday, I went to bed. I'm recording this video Sunday. It's Mother's Day today. I was cleaning, I was getting my son's room. I told you my house is under renovation, so you can see I've been cleaning a lot. The kitchen, the living room, the bathroom, I've been trying to clean, get my son's room ready. So yesterday I went to bed at 5 a.m. Um, you know, when I woke up Saturday, I went to bed Sunday at 5 a.m. And I want to show that, I want to share this with you. If you are somebody who wakes up maybe like 2, 3 in the morning when it's quiet, if you happen to have somebody, like maybe you're in a relationship or you have kids and you don't have a, a quiet place to go, go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom, sit down and, and, and pray. And when I say pray, I can't tell you what to say because I don't, in Ghana, some, sometimes when they pray, they be like, and the fire ban you, fire ban I don't do that type of prayers. When I go to the bathroom and it's quiet and you know your mind is quiet, God is listening. Listen, God listens to us every day, morning, afternoon, evening, dawn, God listen. But those times when my grandmother was alive, she always says that is when God um, allowed the angels to come here and listen to our prayers and take it to God. Ascend, right? It's ascend, right? Because this end is up. So yeah, it's ascend. They are sent here to listen to our prayers and, and take it to God. That's what my grandmother used to say when she was alive. Just say a prayer. Tell God what is in your heart. Be honest. Tell God. Manifest. That's when manifestation actually happens. You have to be aligned with what is in your heart. Tell God. Even if it's cry, something that is bothering you is, is eating you up that nobody knows. Tell God. If it's not the bathroom and it's kitchen or you have a, 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 a safe space where you go, say your prayer, go. Say that prayer. Tell God this is what you want. Listen, we're going to do this. All right. It worked for me. If you're watching this video today. We're going to do this together. Something that you wish for in five or ten years. Something that you hope to gain. Five or ten, ten years from now, when it's quiet and there's nobody home and you know your mind is quiet and you feel in your heart you want to talk. Do this when you feel like you want to talk to God. Don't just do it because I'm saying go do it. I only do that when I go to the bathroom and something tells me. Like you know when God wants you to open up. Something will just tell you and you open up to God. Do it whenever you feel like I just want to talk to my father. I want to talk to my mother. God can be a mother or father. It don't matter. Talk. Tell God your head is secret because God already know. Be honest. Be real and open up. Tell God. Say, God, let's say, um, example, like I said, I told God by the time I hit 40, this is what I want. That doesn't mean I'm going to stay at home. I'm still working towards that. But I'll tell God, God, this is what I want. And if when you created me, the contract that I signed to come here, if you added this thing to my contract, then before I hit this age or this time, let it come through. Let it manifest. And then you put in the work. That's how I say it. And then I have to put in the work. I have to put in the work. Do you understand? So do the same thing. Whenever you feel an urge of talking to God, that means go. Even if it's a quick five minutes break, go. Go talk to God. I'm telling you, I don't believe in God. I know God. I have felt the presence of God. You, I see God in us, in, in, in creation. But the, the creator, the source, the reason why we are all here, the reason why the, this, all, all these beings were created, that 
the 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 owner of your breath this the owner of that i have felt its presence i'm telling you it will humble you if you haven't reached that level this video will make you unsubscribe this you will think i'm crazy i'm not crazy it's the truth all right work on it when it's alone and it's quiet go ahead talk to god one day Maybe a couple years from now, you will come back and say, Princess, you said it. God is real. The universe is real. The source is real. I love you. Take care of yourself. And there is power. If you don't believe in God and you believe in science, there's power behind science. So that thing, we, we, wanna, we call it thing, whatever you want to call it. If you believe in that thing, so be it. If you believe in the sun, it's still God. If you believe in the air, it's still everything here is God. Thank you for watching. My love.